politics. The president will be delivering a speech not just to the millions of Americans watching around the country, but in the room, both Republicans and Democrats, right? Members of your party, some of whom would like to see him move more to the left, some of whom would like to see, you know, more of a hold on the, on the moderate middle, you could call it. We know there are at least three Democrats, I think, expected to respond right after the president's speech. Members of Congress, Rashida Tlaib, Josh Gottheimer, Colin Allred. Do you see that as a sign of division inside the Democratic Party, or do you think the president's going to welcome that, let's say, diversity of perspectives? Well, I think there'll be a diversity of perspective, but we'll all be unified around the fact that you know, President Joe Biden and Democrats are building a better America. That's the reality. That's the facts on the ground. Yes, we have to do more, but we've made tremendous progress. And House Democrats, we're a coalition, we're not a cult. It's a lot easier to be a cult uh, in some ways, but we're a coalition, and we embrace the fact that we represent uh, the American people in the broadest possible way, racially, in terms of gender, sexual orientation, as it relates to religion, life experiences, region, and of course, ideology, from the center to the center left, to the progressive, to the super progressive. That's what makes us who we are as Democrats, the most authentic representatives of the American people. And I believe that President Biden embraces that.